Hello, can you hear me? Hey, hi. Hay que trabajar porque la segunda semana, oh, por lo general, piden los, el formulario. Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, teacher. I can hear you. What happened with you? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I had a problem. Like I said before, you know, this is stressful. Uh, talking about the Wi Fi, etc. I was presenting a problem during the last week, but well, right now, I think everything is going to work well because yeah, today the technicians came home and they checked that my router, etc. But yeah, now I think everything is working well. Sorry for the inconvenience, we're going to continue. And I was checking the, um, Minutes ago, I was checking the chat and it was approved. So you send this case the school answers. I don't know if you have any questions, guys. Sorry. Uh, that exercise, I was telling you and I will share the screen again. I was telling you that, you know, you have to be careful with the punctuations. Punctuations. Okay. So you have to use a period have to use a period. And well, if you try one, you try once, try once, and you click on the, the submit button or in get button, what you have to do then I think is that you have to refresh, refresh page. Because probably if you try again, and if you do it in the same way, you're not going to get the, the answers correctly. Okay, but I think that's what you have to do. But as I can see, some of your classmates got very answers. Please try, try again at the end of the session if you if you care. But let me know if you have questions right now, okay? Please. Any questions? Teacher. Come here. Uh the majority of my uh uh, us, Mary was uh, tried again, and and they can. Okay, and you? I didn't try. <laughs> oh, okay. No, but because I I I cannot. I try it uh, after class. Yeah, sure, sure. Let, let's do that, please. Everybody, I mean the people that are missing, please try at the end of the session, and let me know if you get the answers correctly. And because as you can see, your classmates good, all right? So let's do it, let's do it, don't worry. And let me know if you, you're having the same problem and let's see what we can do. We can do it together if, if you want. But, you know, I show you, I show you the answers in here. You can do it because, you know, we're practicing and that is my, that's what I have to do. I'm a facilitator. And I have to, to help you with this exercises in case you haven't many problems. But if the problem is with the system, let me know and I will ask an authority for English cooperativa, and that person is going to help us. Okay? Like I did previously with Roxana's request. Okay? Well, we're going to continue. Please, at the end of the session, try again and let me know if you can do it. Please. Now let's go to the session. This is the topic for today. We are starting with session four. We're going to start today and we're going to finish next week. Yes, so yeah, we have a lot to do. This is the topic, present, past, and future tenses. We know. We know the tenses. Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, past continuous, simple past, past continuous, future, in the future, we'll be going to um, if you're perfect, etc. So we know the tenses. We're going to use present, past, and future tenses, and we're going to contrast, contrast those tenses. Okay. Today, by the way, as it's Tuesday, March 15, open up, and let's begin with this. Well, as you can see, 
wheels, um, this is specific form for the tenses to describe how our lives have changed during the years. We can use different time for it, different tense, right? So we can specify how time changed or how, how time have, has changed. Okay? And how can we do that? We can use the tenses. We can use the tenses. Past tense, present, and then future. Okay. Here we have some examples. We have some examples. And as you know, we use some expressions. Some expressions for past, we use some expressions for present, we use some expressions for future. And those expressions, we can use them at the beginning or we can use them at the end. And these examples, these examples, we are using them at the beginning. And we separate with a comma. All right, let's begin with the past tense. Well, I will go with past tense, then present, and then future because we're contrasting tenses. This is time contrast, time contrast. Let's begin, past tense. In the past, I used to wear tennis shoes and heels. Nowadays, in the present, nowadays I wear casual clothes. In the future, I am going to wear Former clothes. That is the transition that we have. In the past, I used to wear tennis shirts and shorts. Why? Because I was probably a, a kid, I was a teenager, an adolescent, and in the past. In the present, I am an, an adult, being, you know, let's say, adolescent and adult. It's taking care of that transition. Nowadays, I wear casual clothes. And in the future, that's a, just an example, okay? In the future, I am going to wear for my clothes. That is where we contrast. We contrast and we describe how our lives have changed during the years. You can, I think you can, well, we can identify the time expressions, right? In the past, nowadays, in the future. We are contrasting one more time. Tenses. Let's go with the second one, second example. Uh, I will listen to Gisela. Please, can you read the transition as present and future? A few years ago, I was living in the USA. In these days, I'm living in Mexico. In 10 more years, I will live in Europe. Exactly. Well, in the first exercise, in the first example, sorry, I will go back. We're using different tenses. Okay. Yeah, it's past tense, it's present tense, it's future tense, but we have different forms. In the first past, we're using uh, used to, used to. Okay. I used to, I used to work, so we're talking about past habits. In the present time, or in the present tense, we're using simple verb. Simple present. In the future, we're using simple future, but we're going to. All right. In the second example, the one that Isela read, in the first one, past form and past continuous or past progressive. The second one, present, we have present continuous or progressive. In the last one, future, we have simple future, but in this case, it's real. Right? And we had different time expressions. What is the time expression for simple or past? What's the past the time expression? In the second example. What is the time expression? A few years ago. A few, a few years ago. Exactly, a few years ago. So that determines, that determines that this is past. That is past. Next, we have in these days. These days, exactly, that is for present. That is a time expression for present. Specifically for present continued. Present continued. Uh, next, for future, what is the time expression? In 10 more in years. In 10 more years. Exactly, in 10 more years, let's say, well, right now we're in 2021. In 2031, 
I will live in Europe, Italy, in Germany, in, sorry? Great for you. <laughs> okay, in Greece, Greece. I think you want to say Greece, no? The country, Greece? No, it's great for you if you live in, in Oh, <laughs> we're living I'm in sorry. Europe. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, I hope I'm so. kidding with you. <laughs> I hope so, thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, in 10 more years, I will live in Europe. I will live in Italy, I will live in Germany, I will live in Spain, etc. Right? Third, third situation. Let's say I will listen to one, please. Read the transition, present, past, present, and future. In the third. Yes, please. 10 years ago, I didn't have a car. Now I have a new car. Soon I may buy a Ferrari. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice example. As you can see, that's how our lives have changed, or our lives have changed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably ten years ago, I didn't have a car. Now, I have a new car. I have a car. But in the future, so that is a goal that I have. In the future, I might buy Ferrari. I might buy Lamborghini. I buy a mini cook. Only my dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have a dream. So we have dreams. Okay? Only my dream. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, in that case, we use in future. And we use, yeah, my is a model. My, may, those are models. But those uh, are mean. Also, specific models determine future. I may or I may. Okay, so we can use them for future. Uh, what are the time expressions for past, for example? What is the time expression? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. Ten years ago. And what is the tense that we're using? Past continuous, well, simple past, past simple, perfect, simple, simple past. past, simple past. In there, if I didn't have a clock. In the present, what is the time expression? Now. Now. And we use it? Are we using present continuous? Present tense. Exactly. Simple in present or simple present simple. Present. In the last one, future? Uh, soon. 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 Mm -hmm. And we're using a model. A model. That is a model and that uh, expresses a future future form or a future action. And the last one, we have another one, another situation. I will listen to Roxana, please. Tell me. In the 2002, I started working in the high school. Today, I am working in the high school and in the sec secondary. And in five more years, I will work at the Tecnológico de Monterrey. Tecnológico. Tecnológico yeah. de Monterrey. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens. It happens. Don't worry. It happens. That is a proper name, right? Yeah, it's a proper name. That's why we say Tecnológico de Monterrey. But that <laughs> happens. That happens. You know, we say Tecnológico, you know, <laughs> it's into the <laughs> I know. Don't worry. It's okay. And teacher. Okay. In, in the, uh, the year 2002, uh, uh, maybe I pronounce it 2002. Oh, yeah, we say in 2002. In 2002. Oh, oh, 2002. 2002. Yeah. When we say in years, in this case 2002, say in that way. Uh, probably you can say 2002. I've heard some people say 2002. But in this case, because we're saying a, a date for a year, 2002. We cannot say, uh, well, it's not common to, to listen to it. Like when we say, for example, 2021, 2002, um, it could be, could be, but it's much better if you say 2002. Okay. Yeah, very good. So, what is the time expression for 
pass. In the 2002. <laughs> exactly, in the 2002. For present? Today. Today. Or future? In five in more five years. More years. Five more years. So it means uh, in, let's say, 2026, right? Okay, so that is the way we contrast. Contrast tenses, past tenses, present tenses, and future tenses. So in this case, we have a, you know, a combination. Present, present continuous, present perfect. Simple past, past continuous, past perfect. Future simple. So we will be going to with the models, my, may, and we have, you know, future perfect, could be, right? Well, any questions so far? No. No, no teacher. I don't have a question. Okay. No teacher. Thank you. Well, we can have, I move on, we have, Different situations. You can have different topics. Let's say topics, yeah. For example, transportation is one, education, technology, etc. Let's talk about transportation in this case. I have an example. As you can see, we have three images. Um, in the past, in the past, people who needed to travel had to take a train. Okay. That is the first one. So People in the past used to take, even in the present, some people do it, okay? Uh, probably in our country or in other countries. But that is different because that is not a traditional train. So we had a subway, for example, etc. That is an electrical train. But yeah, in the past, people who needed to travel, they had to do it by train, okay? Nowadays, nowadays, people drive their cars instead. And in the future, in the future, people might have, and we hope so, we hope so, in the future, people might have self-driven cars. Okay? So that is the way we contrast. Contrast, sentence, present, past, sorry, present, and future. We have a transition sequence. Well, it's not a sequence, it's a transition. How our lives change or our lives have changed. Okay. Any questions? No. Hmm. No. Okay. I'm Let finished. me Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um well, by the way, I, I forgot to, to welcome Guadalajara, Recoberto, I'm sorry, uh, because I had that problem, the connectivity, for that. It's nice to have in the in the session, guys. Okay. Well, we're going to continue. And we have this common time expressions, common time expressions uh, for past, present, and for future. For present, for past, sorry, we have, for example, a few years ago. We can say, um, let's say five months ago, two days ago, etc. It depends, we can vary. We can have a diversity of words. In the past, that's another one. In the 19th century, so we can use centuries. In the 21st century, let's guess it's the, no, that's for the present, right? But yeah, in the 19th, Century in the 20th century, that's for another one. We can use years, we can uh, use decades in the 1990s, 60s, sorry, in the 1960s, in the 1980s, in the 1990s, yeah, can refer to decades, right? So, those are common expressions that we use for present is different. We can use his days, day, nowadays, this year, we can use in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, etc. So we have a diversity of words, some expression. 
in the future we have others. Soon, for example, in 20 years, in 10 years, in 30 years, in the future, in the next 100 years, that is another one, in the next 100 years, and in a year. In a year, I will buy a car. In a year, I will buy a new house, etc. Those are time expressions. Any questions? Questions? No question. Okay. Oh. Well, no. Yeah. Okay. No, no, teacher. Okay. Well, moving on. Now I have a conversation in here. Let's continue with Jenny and Charlie. Jenny and Charlie. They are in the conversation. They are talking about our lives, how their life or how our lives have changed. They're talking about education. Let's listen to me and then I will have a couple of volunteers. I will start, listen to me, and then you're going to help. Let's go, please. Listen to me and follow the conversation. One, two, three. Education sure has changed. I know many years ago, people didn't use technology in their classes. You're right. Technology is expanding in the world. Nowadays, a lot of people use any technological devices when taking things. Absolutely. They are great resources and help us to get meaningful knowledge. Sure, in the future, we won't go to the school because we will take them online. I totally agree with you. That is a way we, you know, we can use transitions, or we can have transitions in a conversation. We can include the tenses and combine them. Okay, that's what we can do. So I need two volunteers to come up with the conversation. I'm not a teacher. Okay, Roxanne. I want to pick one. Okay. Maurice. Okay. Oh, Maurice. Okay. And then we have one with somebody else. Oh, right. Because I, I saw that okay. has the microphone on. Okay, I want to start with Roxanne. And what is it? Roxanne and Maurice okay. first. Uh, okay. Sarah, you will be Jenny and Maurice. You will be uh, trying to come up with one, two, three. Let's go. Education sure has changed. I know oh, no. many years ago. Oh, sorry. Yes, you and I, you, you. <laughs> I know many years ago people didn't use te technology in their class. You're right. Technology is expanding in the world. Nowadays, a lot of people use any technological devices when talking classes. Absolutely. Speaking. Absolutely. Absolutely. They are a great resource and help us to get main, main meaningful, tool, meaningful no, knowledge. knowledge. Sure. Sure. In the future, we, will go, we, won't, we won't go to school because we will take them online. I totally agree with you. Excellent. Thank you. Well, that, that is happening, right? That is happening. Um, it will be in the near, in the near future, because yeah, so we're taking online classes. But yeah, this is where we contrast, contrast the tension. Thank you, Roxana and Mauricio. I will continue with one, and then I'll volunteer. Me. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I will have. I will have Roger next, okay? Don't worry. Let's go okay. with Juan and Isela. Juan, you will be Charlie, and Isela will be Jen. Okay? Go ahead. Let's start. Education sure has changed. Yeah. I know many years ago, people didn't use technology in their classes. You're right. Technology is expanding in the world. Nowadays, a lot of people use any technological device when taking classes. Absolutely. They are a great resource and help us to get 
meaningful knowledge. Sure. In the future, we won't go to school because we will take them online. I totally agree with you. Excellent. Thank you. It's a man. Well, I will continue with prayer and I need another volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's go with who? Sorry. Um, I'm not sure if it is Angarela. Okay, all right, sorry. Okay, listen, by the way, before to continue, uh, if you want to switch on the camera, you can do it, okay? That's something that I forget to tell you. Because, yeah, uh, if you can do it, want to do it, go ahead. Do you feel confident? Let's do it. Uh, well, I will Education have... sure has changed. I know many years ago, people didn't use technology in their classes. You're right, technology is expanding in the world. Nowadays, a lot of people use any technological device when talking classes. Absolutely, they are great resources and help you to get many full knowledge. Sure, in the future, we won't go to a school because we will take them online. I totally agree with you. Thank you, Roger and Abel. Well, I, I need the last pair. I need the last pair. Who else wants to help me? I need another pair. Two volunteers. All right, I will select Chris. Okay, Chris, and I will have. Judith. Yes. Uh, Judith, you will be Jenny, and please, you are a chart. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Education should sure have changed. I know. Many years ago, people didn't use technology in their classes. You're right. Technology is expanding in the world. Nowadays, a lot of people use any technological device when taking classes. Absolutely. There are great resources and help us to get a meaningful knowledge. Sure. In the future, we won't go to school because, because we will take them online. I totally agree with you. Excellent. Thank you. Well, again, this is the way we contract. We make transitions. We, you know, and we are describing how our lives, this, all that, how our lives have changed. In the past, we know that some, you know, events occur. In the present, we know that it's we're having some other uh, events. In the future, some other actions, some other things are going to. Okay, so that is the way we contrast. Dependence, past, first, present, and future. Okay. Do you have any questions about this conversation or in general? Uh, no, teacher. No? no, teacher. No, teacher. Very good. Okay. Moving on to the last part, and in this part, I will show you another example. We have another topic. Is entertainment. Entertainment, we know that you know, through the years that has changed and a lot, a lot. So what I want you to do, please think about one topic, topic, be entertainment, fashion, education, um, technology, etc. Choose one topic and you have to contrast, you have to write an example in the past, an example in the present and future. Okay, look at the examples, write sentences using present, past, and future. Only one, only one. Choose a topic and write three examples. Past, present, and future. You have to make the transition. This is an example. We're talking about entertainment. In the 20th century, the radio and television were invented. In the 20th century, the radio, television were invented. These days, 
we have computer games, high definition TV, and 3D movies. Time in the future, we might have thought for video games and virtual reality movies. That is happening, by the way. That is happening. But yeah, sometime in the near future. All right. Well, in your notebooks, in your notebooks, I need you to write one, only one. Choose a topic that you are interested in and write that transition as present and future. Okay. Is it clear what we have to do? Questions? Okay, if you have questions, let's go. I will give you a couple of seconds, couple of minutes, sorry. I will give you two or three minutes. Uh, we're going to finish in a couple of minutes because remember that we have the inconvenience. I need to cover the hour. Okay, so it took like five or seven minutes, I think, when we were. When I left in this case, because I had a problem, and I would cover those five or seven minutes. Let me know if you're ready, and we can listen to you. Ready? I have oh. an idea, but I I don't sure let's go, let's if go. the exam is correct. Let's okay. go. Can do it. Okay. In the eight in the eighties, we communicate by letters. These days, we have cell phones to text immediately or other devices to communicate. Maybe in the future, we'll communicate by holograms. Oh yeah, absolutely. Very good. That's expensive. Uh, just in the in the simple past sentence, just be careful with uh, the verb. I mean, 
talking about the pronunciation. Let's just say, yeah, in the 80s, people communicated, communicated by letters. Yes, communicated, communicated as one. Yes. Oh, yeah, the rest is fine. Okay. Yes, so it will be in the 80s, we communicated by letters. And because it's the okay. last form. And we pronounce the verse differently. Communicate it. Thank you. Okay. That's nice. Thank Those you. Those are great examples. Who are? Somebody else? Is somebody else ready? Uh, me, teacher, but okay. I have an idea, but I'm not sure it's the correct. Um, in the past, it hasn't had technology. But this day we have amazing technology. It's more easy to use in communication and working is most fast. But in the future we may we might talk the robot and technology advance more. Okay. Yeah. Can you repeat the, the first idea when you say in the past? In the past. In the past, it hasn't had technology. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, I think you're trying to use, if I'm not mistaken, you're trying to use present perfect, hasn't. Uh, in that case, you have to use one of the tenses. I mean, talking about past. You can say probably uh, in the past, people didn't have technology. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Only that. The rest is fine. You say the present and then the future. You use my. Yeah. Only that. The rest is fine. Credit teacher. Thank you, Olivia. I appreciate. Okay, I will go with Roxana. Okay. I. Uh, uh, it's about communication. Okay. But it's, uh, it's, the idea is that like, uh, Gisela, I remember. Uh, no, no, no. But it's oh, a little not. different. Yeah. In the past, people didn't use cell phone. This day, uh, people have cell phone. Oh, this day, people have, all people have a cell phone. In the future, they might communicate each other to their their minds. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, could be. Yeah, I mean, we can use probably a machine or probably a, an electronic device that that yeah. helps us by using our minds. Maybe could be. Why not? Very good. Thank you, Rosa. That is nice. Okay. For sharing. Somebody else? Or to go? Okay, for me, teacher. Okay, I will go with this and then Royer, I think. Yeah, okay. Please. Okay. Let's go with you first. In the 90s, El Salvador signed the peace accord. Uh, present. Nowadays, children don't know about the peace accords. In the future, in the future, the peace accords will only be a memory. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a nice example. Very good, Luis. I, I like it. I like that. Thank you. Let's go with Roger. Yes. Um, and past tense. Uh, ten years ago, I didn't have a computer. Uh, present, um, no, I a new cell phone and future and, uh, excuse me, in future in three more years, I will visit, visit Dubai. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Uh, just one observation, that is okay, that is okay, because you're saying different situations, you're giving different scenarios, etc. Try to keep the, the transition, the transition. If you're talking about communication, talk about communication. In this case, yeah, 
But it's okay. okay. You, can, you can say in that way. In the future, in, in five years, I will visit Dubai, as you said. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. But yeah, don't worry. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, and I will listen to the last volunteer. Volunteer? Last volunteer? Teacher, teacher, yes. Yeah, let's go. Uh, a few, a few years ago, the technology, the technology, technology, were not advanced. Now, what were not advanced, but now we had smartphone, laptop, electric car, and in the future, I don't know, in twenty years, we will have fly car. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, um, it's time. It's time. We will continue. Uh, next, is Amora. Any questions before to go? No teacher, any questions for me? No teacher. Very good. Well, we're going to a story here. Listen, the people that were missing, Please, please, if you can send me your examples via WhatsApp, I will be okay, all right? So I can check them and give you some feedback. Okay, if you want me to check your exercises, you can do it. Okay, I can give you some feedback, all right? So just send them to me and of course I'm gonna help. Well, everybody, we're going to finish right here. So we covered the minutes that we, that we lost because of the problem that I had. Thank you so much for your patience, your time. We'll be continuing tomorrow. And again, if you have some troubles with Blackboard, try please try with the exercise of Carnival. Let me know if you can get the, the correct answers. If you continue having the same problem, please let me know. And with other exercises, let me know too, because I'm going to report those issues you can have with other exercises, with the other things. Any okay. questions for to go? No, no question. No. no. Okay. Well, everybody, thanks again. Thank you so much. We'll be continuing tomorrow. Have a good night. God bless you. And stay safe. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.